Hey guys, CBP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at Google's brand new update to the Google Home that really transforms the way you control all your smart devices in your home. Let's check it out. Now, over the last couple of weeks, there's been a flurry of new devices that are being launched into the market. Google announced its own uh, smart displays with the Google Hub. We've also seen Lenovo's product on the channel, where Noel and I reviewed that. You have JBL with the solution that's coming out, and also Google with their, uh, again, their Google Hub solution. So today, what we're going to do is talk about how the brand new Google Home app really changes the way you control all your smart devices in your home. I'm telling you, it is transformational and it's going to change the way you really think about smart devices. So make sure you stay and watch this video if you're considering buying smart bulbs, smart switches, the Nest thermostat, your front doorbell, you know, the, the Nest Hello, so that you can see how easy it's become to manage all your devices. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now the first thing I just wanted to mention is that with the new updates, uh, many of us think that in order to have smart devices through our home that you have to have either a Google Mini or you would have to have a home device or a hub or any of those smart displays. Well in fact this update turns the phone that you have and right now I'm using the Google Pixel 3XL uh, and I'm going to use this as our smart display. You could use any Android phone to do this as long as you have the updated Google Home, Dev home application to manage everything that's going on in my home. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the actual app itself. So I'm going to go into home. You'll see that that's the app right there. And when I choose it, uh, your app, if it's been updated, will now look like this. Now, we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more so that you can see how this works. Uh, here we have at the very top of the screen, some major changes have taken place. Now, this is the first thing I just want to mention. If you have a vacation home or you have a business, and I know a lot of businesses, I have family myself, that are using Nest uh, I would say cameras for their businesses because there is a, a business line of the Nest cameras. This area right here where you see home, you can actually have multiple locations that are triggered by this button right here. So just by tapping home, right now I only have one, but you'd get a little triangle with the down arrow. Once you click it, you can actually switch from your home to your business uh, to your second home. Or let's say, for example, you're managing a home for uh, one of your family members, for your mom or your dad, and you're um, setting up all their smart devices. You'll be able to switch back and forth right here. Now, Google has done something else, and, and this is where I think that it, they've really transformed the way your phone works and why it's not necessary to have any of these devices because this becomes your hub. You notice that you can turn on and off your lights. So here's the off button, here's the on button. You can play music. So this is going to take your Spotify, your Pandora, it's going to take all of your you know, YouTube music, uh, Google Play music, whatever you're streaming, and it's going to coordinate and consolidate everything into that control. You could broadcast messages, and I have to tell you, this is something that I use often uh, when I'm coming back from a business trip, when I'm on my way home, when I want to tell my kids something. You push this button, and all you have to do is say uh, what you want to be communicated, and then all your speakers in your home will communicate what you said in your voice or in Google's voice, depending on what you're asking for. Controlling your thermostat, seeing your cameras, you can add additional devices, looking at your settings. And then what it does is it really nicely organizes everything. So if you see right here, here's my uh, front door. So I'm going to show you how this will work in a second. So we're just going to go through the app so you can see what's there. We have uh, my basement lights, my bedroom lights, or my bedroom, and I have a, I actually have a security camera pointing outward, so there's no uh, security camera in the room. Uh, we have our dining room thermostat. You'll notice how things are broken up. Uh, these are my driveway cameras that are pointing out. And as you're looking at this, you may say, wow, this guy has a lot of cameras. Remember, I also do a lot of reviews, so, uh, you know, so, so they just come over and, and I kind of put them up and for whatever reason, they just stay there. Uh, my kitchen display, which you saw uh, Nolan and I review, so this is our Lenovo display. Lights in the office, and you can see that right here, a Google Mini in a, in a office speaker that I have, and this happens to be my LG uh, speaker, uh, a pool uh, camera, and then what you're having here is all these devices broken down. So I also have, you know, a TV that has Chromecast capabilities here, and these are all of my Chromecast devices. So the basement, my son's rooms, um, 
all of the devices that you see here, my kitchen, my first home device here, all of these are broken down nicely. So let's, let's talk about how this works now. So now the first thing we're going to do is choose the off, right? Now what you can do is I can turn off all the lights in the home. So if I had a full list of lights all the way going down here, if I have like 15, 30 lights, or I had them grouped by specific categories, what I could just do is say turn off all the lights. And remember, this is super powerful, especially if you're managing multiple properties, vacation properties. You know, you just want to show that you're home. So if I want to turn off, for example, all the lights, I tap that. If I want to just turn off my office lights, watch how this is going to work, all the lights are off. If I want to turn them on, I can say turn on the office lights, and then all of them are going to uh, come up. So that's how powerful this little feature is right here. If I want to play music, I could just say, you know, where do I want to play the music? So when you think about this, and you think about like the Sonos platform, where you have those speakers, and they get pretty expensive. Well, if you have these little devices throughout your house, 29 bucks, maybe a little bit higher, you can actually control them all and actually play music in any of those rooms and define what kind of music. So you're going to be able to choose the song. You'll be able to choose, you know, what, application is going to be streaming and just start playing in those specific rooms. You also then have the ability to um, broadcast and the broadcast feature is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try this. This, this is a test. Okay. Broadcasting now. So that got communicated throughout my whole house. Every room that had one of these basically got this communication. Now one of the things I would like is that a speaker at some point Google would allow us to control which speaker would actually get the broadcast but right now it goes throughout the entire house. Now another thing is let's look at our thermostat. So with thermostat feature what I'm going to do is I'm going to see you know what's going on in, in, in the house. I can actually adjust up adjust down my thermostat all through this console. Everything is, is all consolidated nicely. You also have cameras. So if I tap the camera, it's going to show all my cameras. But let's go to the front doorbell first. So I'm going to tap the doorbell. And what it's going to do is, again, these are all my Nest cameras. It's going to show immediately what's going on in the front door. If I go out of this and I choose my cameras, I can see here are all the cameras that I have available that I can choose from. And I can simply click to the specific camera just by tapping it. So if I want to look at uh, one of my driveway cameras, or what we'll do is is, yeah, we'll look at this one right here. I'll tap it. It's going to go specifically uh, to one of my Nest outdoor cameras, and it's going to load it and bring it to the forefront. Again, giving you the ability to have that centralized control panel that's giving you access to everything that's going on in your home. Now, one other thing that you can do is, depending on the type of lights that you have, you notice that I have on and off. If you do have lights that have color capabilities, you can also adjust the color capabilities. You can adjust, you know, going from orange to red to white to green, whatever color you'd like. Now, at the very bottom here, you have some controls. Uh, first of all, you do have the ability to use your voice to control all of these devices. If I choose the Discover button right here, I can see that I have a new device that is available for me to connect if I'd like to. And then I have the ability to look at uh, all my Chromecast devices, see what's playing, and control what's playing on each one of them. Now, if I click on the Play button, I have the ability to look and uh, see uh, what movies are available from Google Play. You can see um, YouTube information that I can stream, music that I can play, music that's on Spotify because I have a Spotify account connected, my Pandora account, YouTube music. So again, really giving the ability to access all of your media all in one specific place. All right, so now the last button that we have here, so we've already looked at home, we looked at discover, we looked at play, is your settings area. So this is the area that you can go to to look at um, all the devices that you have connected and um, do all the connectivity that you have to go through. That hasn't really changed much, but that's something that you can explore on your own. But this is the changes. These are the changes that we've seen with Google Home. And let me know what you think. I think that this is a brilliant design. I think it makes it really easy to use. And once again, if you're not into one of these guys, even though I do highly recommend them, this gives you the ability to really control your entire home. And the neat thing about this is that it's at the cost of just the speakers. It's at the cost of the switches. It's at the cost of you know the light bulbs. So you're not having to invest in a major, um, I would say, control panel to control everything that's going on in your house. You could use your phone for that. And if you have an older phone that's running um, Google or you know, the Android operating system, you could leave that in the house as the device that controls all of your smart home um, connectivity or, or 
or devices that you have. So like, once again, let me know what you think about the Google Home new update. Um, are you considering a uh, smart home device? Um, have you already invested in it? Have you updated? Let me know your thoughts in the common area. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.